Hi everyone, today I'm here doing a first impressions on the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Mecca kindly sent me the new foundation to try out. I also have the brush as well. I have three shades to decide from, Nude, Warm Beige and Shell. I haven't personally watched any first impressions or reviews on this. The first thing that it says on the directions is, formula is highly concentrated. Only a small amount is needed. Lightly dot foundation on the forehead, cheeks and chin and blend with a brush. It just claims to be seamless and you can get a lot of coverage with it. Warm beige, that is too dark for me. Nude might be an okay shade actually. Or oh, maybe it might be shell. This is the brush here. So it, it's pretty much the same size as the foundation. So I love the look of the brush. It looks gorgeous and sleek and I love the color of the bristles as well. The foundation packaging is quite unique for a stick. Like, I mean, how unique can you get for a stick? But it is a triangle shape and it's so sleek and smooth and just luxe. And when you open it up, the stick is actually, of course, it's in triangular form. So I'm going to go in with the color Shell today. I am going to prime half my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I think it's nearly running out. So next to the application, I'm just going to apply it straight to my face as it suggests. What does it say? Cheeks. That's, that's a small amount, all right? Now I do like a high coverage foundation. So, that was not enough. It was enough for a light coverage foundation. That actually did quite a lot. <laughs> like here's nothing to this side. It's also 11 a.m. It's a Sunday, so I'm gonna put a little bit, a lot more on. It's super easy to blend out. Blends out really nice and flawlessly. I have to say, I'm quite impressed. I don't, I have got fake tan on today and it is going to develop. I'm just wondering if this color is a little bit too light for me. I might use a little bit of the nude. So that's like three kind of layers of it. The formula is really unlike anything else I've used before. It just blends in like cream to powder so, so beautifully. And it does have really good coverage. Uh, you can still see some of my redness coming through there, but I haven't used that much of it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer on this side of my face or catch up actually. I have to say the application, it is so easy. I think I would recommend like buffing it in kind of and then just stippling at the end. It does, it did go like a little bit liney, but um, the application is so easy. It really does like blend seamlessly. I feel like, yes, it is really, really nice and flawless. Just wanna try it and cover up a little bit more on my cheeks and my nose. Like it doesn't take much effort at all to blend it out. It seems to have covered up my pimpy really well there. With that last coat, it's covered up my redness on my nose and my cheeks really well. So this is what it looks like close up on the skin. I feel like it doesn't look cakey. Obviously the places where I've put a little bit less, it looks more natural than where I have really packed it on on the cheeks. Ooh. That just messed that up. I feel like the prime side is a lot smoother than the non-prime side. It hasn't gone funny or anything over the pimple, which is a good sign. Some foundations just don't sit well over pimples. And considering this side isn't primed as well, that's something else to take note. 
very impressed. I've still got like a bit of scarring here that you can see, but yeah, overall I'm quite impressed with how it looks close up. It doesn't, I don't feel like it looks cakey. It looks quite natural. It does look seamless. I'm going to definitely give it that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then come back and show you what I think of it all done. It is now 10 past 11. Okay, so I finished my makeup. It's now 20 past 12, 12, 19. I really like how it looks. Like it looks seamless, looks flawless, and everything like that. So this is the foundation up close so you can see. I feel like it's gone a bit cakey around my face around my face I mean like above my lip looks a little bit powdery over my nose looks like it's settled into my lines underneath my nose it looks seamless it looks flawless it has yeah as I said creased a little bit in my nose there and I think someone said that it went in their laugh lines so I will see how that's gonna go today I have a lot of videos to film so it needs to hold up really nicely I think I think that the side with the primer looks a little bit more flawless than the side without the primer at this point. Really happy with it so far. I'll see you in a few hours. Also, I do tend to have an oily T-zone, oily nose, forehead, chin kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, I'm just doing a checkup on my foundation. It is 5 p.m. at this point in time and it has gone like a little bit dewy, I guess you would say around my nose. Um, but apart from that, it still looks really, really good. So I've had it on for five hours at this point in time. Bit cakey around my mouth, above my lip. You can tell like it's sunk into my pores, just around my nose kind of thing. It's, it's just more obvious in that location. I think the oil's come out and it kind of has fixed that line that was coming around my nose because it's not that evident. It hasn't gone into my laugh lines. So far it hasn't transferred, but I haven't done anything. I haven't changed clothes or, you know, lent on my face or anything. So we're going to go out at this point in time. This eyelash is coming off, I know, because it was digging into me. So I had to peel it off a little bit and I had to take off that eyeliner because it was just hurting my eyes. But yeah, we're going to go out for a little bit now. So I'll come back and check in with you perhaps at like nine o'clock or something just before I go to bed to let you know how it has lasted. So far, so good. I do like the dewy look that it's giving me but I'm just concerned that it's just going to look oily in an hour or so just a bit too shiny kind of thing that's the thing like with me and and dewy foundation I filmed a video where I had really dewy skin but I just didn't like how it looked on me because of my lines and it just makes me look I don't know oily I don't know if it's just I'm not used to myself, like I, I just prefer a matte finish. Also, I did a flash test. The flash doesn't show up. It doesn't say that I had any SPF, but I just wanted to test it. So I'll insert photos with and without flash here so you can see. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in with you in a few hours. Hey guys, I'm back and it's quarter past 9 p.m. So I've had the makeup on for about 10 hours. You know what? Everything looks fine apart from this area here. It looks terrible. I'll have to do a close-up and show you what it looks like. Probably doesn't look too bad from far away. Anywhere from like this, probably this far away is too close. It's just gone really pory and in, in all my pores and fine lines. I didn't even realize I had them this many lines around the my top lip. It's just accentuating them all. It doesn't look too bad here. I guess in future with applying the foundation, I would apply it very sparingly around my top lip. I would almost say that it looks better on the unprimed side, just a tiny little smidge, but I know that my pores are worse on this side for some reason. It doesn't appear to have any transfer, although I haven't really been touching my face because I've just been filming, editing, and then we went out for dinner. Like I hadn't been anywhere where I was like leaning on my face or anything like that so I don't know how I how that would test I'd say that this would be ideal for maybe like the seven hour mark of wear foundations but definitely not over 10 that's funny that on this side it's all come down but on this side it hasn't interesting on the unprimed side my mascara is just like down here Hmm. Okay, so I just looked it up online. It did say it was meant to be a 12 hour long wearing foundation. So I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I mean, as I said, it has lasted really, really well. It's just probably, it probably just needs some blotting. 
I'm sure it'll be fine without that. It is meant to be waterproof. Uh, I think it launches August 23rd at Mecca in Australia, but it is out in the US at the moment and in US it's $46. So I imagine that in Australia it would be probably around $60, maybe, not too sure, but maybe around that mark. One of the things that it does mention is that you could you know, contour and highlight with this foundation, which is a really good point, considering it blends so seamlessly, but it does come in a really great shade range. So there's really light colors and then there's quite dark colors as well. So that is another good point about this foundation. I'm sold on the brush. If I had some blotting paper, just don't know about this area. That blotting kind of took it off on, around my nose, to be honest. And all I'm doing is like pressing to soak up the oil. That didn't really help. Maybe blotting papers would help. Sorry, I was just about to take off my makeup and I realized I didn't do a close up. So this is the prime side and this is the unprime side. That's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.